Good morning, everybody. Happy Tuesday. So we are in our second week of a Mindful Hits class. If you were with me last week for our Tuesday and Friday class, the expectation is the same, but if you weren't, I just want to reinforce what today's class is going to look like. Back up a little bit. So for my Mindful Hits class today and going forward, some things to look for and to expect are always um, setting an intention for my class. So we're focused a lot on breathing. Um, we start the class with breath work, simple, um, something everybody can really put into a daily practice. So it's something you can think about as we start our class. And then we move into stretching. And then as the course of the class goes on, we move into some core exercises mixed with some strengthening exercises as well. Uh, Tuesdays are always a little bit um, I don't want to say easy, but a little bit um, slower to start. And then we ramp up as the class goes on. And then as you move into my class on Friday, it's the same thing, except we might just start a little more intense and then um, ramp it up a little bit quicker. So those are things to look forward to throughout my class. Make modifications as you need, um, scale as you need. And I encourage you to find space to allow yourself to try the breathing that we do throughout the class. But if at any time it gets too intense and you need to take a moment or switch to your own type of breathing, um, feel free and let's get started. By the way, my name is Nikki, if I haven't said that. All right, so let's get started. Fine, all you need for today is some space, no equipment, um, a towel if you want one, and then if you wanna grab, um, something to put under your uh, back for maybe some like ab back stuff or I'm oh, sorry for some core you might want to do that but you don't need it it's not needed find some space on the floor you're going to ground yourself we're just going to start with some simple breathing so start with your eyes open I want you to really think about connecting your feet into the floor so right now I'm pushing my big toe into the floor. I'm pushing my heels into the floor. Hands, palms are open beside me. I'm gonna begin to close my eyes. Focus on what I feel. Automatically I feel my balance kick in since my eyes closed. Start to pay attention to what feels tight, where your thoughts are going as you close your eyes and stand here. Are you thinking about what's gonna happen throughout the day? How much work you have to do? What you're gonna do after this class? And if you are, acknowledge that thought and then just let it go. Bring your awareness to your breath. So together now, we're gonna deepen our breath, really focus on what that looks like. You're gonna inhale through your nose, exhale through your mouth. Inhale through your nose, exhale through your mouth. You can open your eyes or keep them closed. We have two more breaths here. Inhale through your nose, exhale through your mouth. On this next inhale, I want you to think about Pulling your belly and your rib cage in. Getting really tall, exhale. Pushing it all out. Open your eyes. Shake it out a little bit. And then with the eyes open before we move on into the rest of the class, you're just gonna take one big inhale up. And then exhale, bow forward. Good, inhale, rise a little bit. Exhale, bow forward. On the next inhale, come all the way up. And on the exhale, hands to heart center. Let's just take two more breaths here. Rounding your feet, your feet are about hip distance apart. In, inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. Remove your traps from your shoulders. Final breath here, inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. Good, we 
release your hands. So we're gonna start today's class a little bit different than I've been starting, but we're gonna start with some balance work. So we're gonna focus on grounding one foot and then taking one foot off the floor. So as simple to start as we can, we're gonna push your left foot into the floor and you're gonna drive your right foot off. So if you automatically feel unbalanced, I want you to find something to stare at. So a target ahead of you, you need to push your toes onto the floor, you can still do that, but we don't wanna be leaning. We wanna find our center, if your hands here feel okay. And then once you feel grounded, with your toes pushing into the floor and that right foot slightly hovering the floor, Let's go for two breaths, keeping your gaze nice and constant, putting all your focus here. In th inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Good, on the next breath, you can either stay here or you can try to put your foot on your shin into a tree pose. Inhale through the nose, final breath. Exhale through the mouth. Good, lower that foot and shake it out. Good, for some of you that may have felt simple, for some of you that may have felt challenging, but the goal here is to really focus on balance, right? Grounding yourself. And as you ground yourself, what can you do with your thoughts and your focus to feel more balanced is really important. Um, we're gonna go ahead and hit the other side. So right foot stays grounded now. This side might feel a little bit different. Push your toes before even lifting. Push your toes into the floor. Make sure your knee is not caving in or out. And then find your center. Find something to stare at. Maybe it's a window. Maybe it's a painting. Maybe it's just a wall. And then go ahead and start to pick that left foot up. Hands can come to center for balance. Hovering above the floor, you're gonna go for a big inhale in. Exhale out. Remember, you can always put your toes down if you need to. Inhale in. Exhale out. Final breath. You can put your foot on your shin or your calf, or you can keep it on the floor. Inhale in. Keeping that gaze straight. Exhale out. And release. Good work, guys. So, Subtle balancing, right? Bringing awareness to what you can do with your focus. We're gonna go through a little bit of a flow now. So finding some space on the floor, making sure you have enough space. You're gonna start with a really big inhale up. And on the exhale, you're gonna walk your hands forward, walk your feet out into a plank position. Good, on the inhale, walk your feet towards your hands, and on the exhale, just bend the knees, walk back out. On the next inhale, this is the final one, we're gonna to come to standing on our, uh, bring your feet in. So we're gonna inhale, push the feet, pedaling towards your hands. On the exhale, slightly come up. Good, on the next inhale, take a big breath all the way up. And on the exhale, back to center. Good. We're gonna go for one more, except now we're gonna push that into a pigeon pose. So inhale all the way up. Exhale, bow down. Inhale, start to walk the feet towards a plank position. Exhale, just hold. Inhale, the right foot up. Exhale, push to a pigeon pose. So in my classes, I always like to say, um, this pose is whatever you can offer. So make sure your back leg is straight, but if you have tight hips like me, it's okay if your right foot or whatever foot is up is not per uh, perfectly in that angle. Let's get two breaths here, just on the hands today. Inhale in, exhale out. Inhale in, exhale out. Final breath, inhale in. On the exhale, untuck the toes, push your right foot back to plank. And on the next inhale, lift that left leg. 
Exhale, slide through. Make adjustments as we need to. And then two breaths here. Inhale in. Exhale, let it go. Try to sit your body deeper without going onto your forearms. Inhaling into that hip. And exhaling out. Good, on the next inhale, untuck the toes. Return your left foot back to plank. And on the exhale, walk your hands and your feet to me. Good, final breath, inhale, all the way up. Exhale, back to center. Good, if you need to take a moment to ground before we move into our strengthening, take a second here. Hands could be open. Returning back to that breath, inhaling in, exhaling out. Good, one more breath here, inhaling in, exhaling out, let it all go. We're gonna go onto our backs now. So we're gonna start before we do that um, with just a little bit of a stretch for your hip and your back. So straightening your legs out in front of you. You're gonna think about creating space by elongating your legs. So if your knees are bent right now, do whatever you can to walk your heels forward. And we're just gonna reach up really big, breath up. And then exhale, bow forward. So this may look like touching your toes. This may look like touching your shins. And maybe we're not there today. Maybe we're just touching our knees. Wherever you're at, we're gonna go ahead and try to reach a little bit further on our next breath. So inhale, reach up. Exhale, bow forward. And then stay here on the inhale. And on the exhale, try to reach a little bit more. Good. Sit here for a second, feel what feels tight, feel what you wanna work on today. And then on the next inhale, come up a little bit. And on the exhale, all the way up and back to center. Good, we're gonna move into some bridges today. So while I'm doing um, the bridges, I wanna demo first. So if you could just watch me um, and then follow after. Some things I wanna think about when we're going into our bridges. So this is really good for our core. This is also really good for our hips and our glutes. What I'm gonna think about when I'm getting into my bridge, I'm on my back, my head is glued onto the floor, my butt and my back are pushing into the floor, and my palms are gonna push into the floor for the start. My heels are grounded, and my they're not tucked into my butt. I have enough space, I would say about, a foot in between my glutes and my heel. From here, all I'm going to do on the inhale is drive my hips up, and then on the exhale, I'm just gonna hold. What I'm doing in this position is thinking about pushing my hips up while my heels stay grounded, and I'm trying to reach my hips to the sky. So hips are reaching actively, they might not be going very far, but that is the goal. And then on the exhale, we're just holding, okay? We're gonna try to create space with our hips off of the floor, lifting as high as we can with our breath. So one more time before we get started together, palms are into the floor. I have enough space, about a foot in between my butt and my heel. I'm gonna inhale, thinking about pushing my back into the floor, I'm gonna inhale now, drive my back and my hips off the floor. And on the exhale, I'm just holding. So my upper back and my neck are on the floor, but my glutes, my legs, and my lower back are off the floor. So we're gonna do this together. The rep count is going to be driving up on the inhale. On the exhale, we're just gonna hold, and then we're gonna hold for two more breaths in that position, following my guidance, following my voice. Find your um, position. Hands are glued to the floor. Get centered, 
Glue your eyes to something up so we're not turning our neck. Neck is nice and neutral. Inhale, drive the hips up aggressively. Exhale, hold. Good. Inhale, think about trying to get a little bit higher. Squeeze the butt. Exhale, hold. Inhale, see if you can drive up a little bit more. Creating space in your rib cage. Creating space through your whole diaphragm. Exhale, hold. Good, on the next inhale, keep rising. On the exhale, slowly lower down. Good, that was one rep. What we're gonna try to do for the next few reps is keep that same tempo, keep that same breath work, and we're gonna treat that set as one. So we have two more like that. Go ahead and join me back on the floor. Two more following my guidance. So we know where to go now. Hands are glued. We're gonna take a big inhale, reach the hips up. Squeeze the butt, squeeze the quads, squeeze your core. Everything is nice and tight. Inhale here. Exhale, let it go. Good, inhale, see if you can drive up even more, pushing your hips to the sky, creating space. Exhale, let it go. Final breath here, inhale, keep reaching, squeeze your butt nice and tight. Exhale, lower down. Beautiful. Good, that was two. We have one more here before we move into a core exercise. So again, where you should be feeling this as a reference is in your glutes, in your hamstrings a little bit. You should not be feeling in your back. You might feel it in your core as you breathe, but just be mindful of where the intention is. And if it is in your back, what adjustments can you make to the position? Final rep here. Getting centered, keeping our neck nice and neutral. Feet are grounded. Inhale, drive the hips up nice and aggressively. Thinking about keeping that butt off of the floor, creating space. For some of you, that might be really high. That's awesome. We're getting into that bridge position. Inhale here. Exhale, let go. Through the mouth, two more breaths. Inhale, try to rise. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, squeeze the butt, lift a little bit more. And then exhale, lower. Beautiful. Take a second if you need to, shake it out. We're gonna move into our core now. So we'll take a, a little bit of a longer break after the next core exercise. But now that we're on our back, we're gonna go into a sit up. So these are just gonna be driving up into our sit-up position. I'm gonna give the first modification, which will be the harder one, and then I'll scale back so you have an idea. The first modification is my feet are glued into the floor, the same position you were in for your bridge, so this is a nice translation. I'm gonna keep my hands here behind my head, or I'm gonna push them uh, behind me, but I'm just going to inhale, reach up, so hands could be guidance for you and then exhale slower down. So arms are uh, behind my head, reaching nice and tall. I don't know if you guys can see that, I'll scoot up. I'm gonna inhale, reach up. Exhale, slowly lower down, okay? That was two reps, we have eight together. We're gonna start over now. So inhale, big reach up. Exhale, lower down. Keep your feet grounded if you can. If you need to make a modification in this, the modification is going to be such. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, lower down. So it's more of a crunch than it is a sit-up if you're scaling. That was three. You guys have five more. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, slowly lower down. Controlling. Good. That was four. We have four more. Again, if you're modifying, you're just going into that crunch. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, lower back down. Last three reps. Use your hands as guidance, as a tempo. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, back down. Final two reps. Keep your heels grounded. If they come off a little, it's okay. Inhale, reach up. Keep integrity. Lower back down without collapsing. And then final rep. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, back down. Awesome. Find your seated position before we go back into our bridge. We're just gonna take a second here. Acknowledge what you just did. 
right? Maybe it felt subtle, but a lot of core activation, a lot of um, glute activation, find steadiness. Try to see if you can just embrace silence. What does it feel like this morning to just be in silence? Okay, let's take three breaths here. See if you have space for just intention in your breath. Inhale in. Exhale, let it go. Notice what your body feels like right now. Inhale in. Exhale, let it go. Try to find a calmness that you can take into your day. Inhale in. Exhale, let it go. We're gonna move into a transition of what we just did with our glute bridge, but now we're gonna to go to single leg. So just like we started the class, right? Everything kind of is supposed to move into each other. So we started our first position with a balance, and that was just to see what leg maybe felt stronger than the other. Notice that as we carry into this exercise and see what you can focus on with your breath to try to keep consistency in both sides. So I'm gonna demo first, and then I'll ask you guys to follow me. I'm gonna keep my body on the floor, so now everything is on the floor, my back is not off the floor. I'm gonna drive my right foot up, my left foot is glued into the floor. From here, now I'm going to go through that same glute bridge of pushing my hands into the floor, driving my hips up, keeping my right foot nice and tight, uh, pointing towards the ceiling, and then exhaling, back down. Inhale, drive up. Exhale, slowly lower down. So when I inhale up, I'm driving my lower back and my glutes off of the floor. I'm not letting my upper back arch. I'm not thinking about pushing my rib cage to the ceiling. I'm keeping my upper back nice and tight to the floor. Um, this is really important because if you get that arch, you might feel some pressure in your back. So we're going to do this together. Find some uh, space on your floor where you feel comfortable gluing your hands in. So to get into a starting position, you're going to glue your feet just like we did our glute bridge. Let's start with the right foot together. So right foot is glued to the ceiling. It's okay if it's not perfectly locked out, but think about pointing your toes towards you. Um, so we're not flexing our foot. We're creating just a nice straight line. Hands are pushing into the floor. We're going to inhale, squeeze the butt, lift the hips. Keeping the leg where it is. Exhale, slowly lower, back down. Inhale, drive up, squeezing the butt. Exhale, slowly lower, down. Good. Notice this leg might feel a little tight. That's okay. Inhale, drive up. Exhale, slowly lower down. Good, we have one more. Inhale, drive up. Exhale, lower down. Good. We're gonna go on to that other side. Same thing, notice what the other side feels like comparatively. Does one side feel a little tighter? If so, maybe you're leaning a little bit throughout the day on that side. Maybe you just strengthen that side more than the other. And let's bring awareness to that. Left leg goes up. Check your toe position. Your right knee should be um, in a good position where your shin is vertical. Hands are glued to the floor. I'm gonna inhale, reach my hips up, not arching my back, just my lower back and my butt is off the floor. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, shoot the butt towards the sky. Exhale, back down. Good, that's two. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, lower back down. Good. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, lower back down. You might feel some pressure in your hamstring. That's good. We're doing the work. Inhale, last one. Reach up. Exhale, lower back down. Return your left foot to your right. Go ahead and just push your left legs to one side. Open up that back, keep your arms wide if you want to. Get a big inhale here. Exhale. Good, back to center. Inhale to the right, maybe look over your left shoulder. Exhale, let it go. 
Inhale back to center. And we are gonna move into our next set of sit-ups. So for our next set of sit-ups, we're gonna try to control the tempo down. If you stay with the crunch, that's okay. You can stay with your crunch in this next um, portion, but still try to keep your tempo going down. So what that's gonna look like, just watch me first, then we'll do it together, is I'm in my sit-up position, right? I'm using my arms as a guidance behind me. I'm gonna Inhale up, keep my heels grounded. I'm gonna exhale down. I'm gonna fit in another breath, inhale, and then I'm gonna exhale slowly on the down. So if you notice the tempo is up subtle, but I'm not just going right back into the floor. So I'm trying to fit in two breaths before I return to the floor. And um, if you can't do that, Feel free to welcome yourself to go back to the first breath where you just use one inhale and exhale to go down. But this is creating more tension in your core. It should be a little harder to control as we go down. All right, I'm gonna use this for my, under my, um, my lower back, like my sacrum area. If you have something you wanna put under there, go ahead. If you don't, you don't need it, that's okay. But we're gonna go through eight reps of these together. If you wanna scale down, uh, you can use the crunch or you can go to six. So feet are pushing into the floor, hands are behind me. I'm gonna inhale up, exhale down. One more breath, inhale, exhale lower. That's one rep, creating that tension. Inhale up, exhale down, inhale, exhale lower. That's two, keep your feet on the floor if you can, inhale up. Exhale, lower just a little. Inhale, exhale back down, that's three. Good, our core should be activated, we're working. Inhale up, exhale, lower down a little. Pushing our lower back, starting to get ready. Inhale, exhale back down, that's four. Four more guys, inhale up. Exhale, lower a little bit, inhale. Exhale, back down, that's five. Inhale up. Exhale, lower a little. Inhale again. Exhale, back down, that's six. We have two more, inhale up. Exhale, lower a little. Inhale, back down. Exhale, let it go. Last one, inhale up. Exhale, lower a little. Inhale, back down. Exhale, release. Good, let's just take a long stretch. So arms and legs are pressing out in front and back of us. Try to think about elongating your body. So I'm reaching towards the wall behind me. I'm reaching my feet towards the wall. And then let's just take two breaths here, stretching out our core, working on getting really long. Inhale in through the nose and let it out through the nose. Inhale in through the nose, and let it out through the nose. Good, on the next inhale, you're gonna roll over onto your belly. And on the exhale, pull your hands to your side and press back into child's pose. Now let's take two breaths here, noticing if your legs are tired, if your core is tired. And on the next inhale, walk your hands in. And on the exhale, sit back on your heels. So you're in a seated back position. If you want to rock to get there, you can rock to get there. But we're just gonna use this actually as a point of rest and breath work. So this is like an active rest and breath work. And the reason I say that is you can see my feet are together and I'm pushing back on my heels. So we just did a lot of balance work um, and we are on our feet mostly all day. Um, maybe not right now in the quarantine, but usually right. And we're never really focused on stretching our feet or stretching our ankles. So it's really important to think about pressing back in this position as we go into our um, quick breath work here to think if you can embrace a little bit of discomfort. 
maybe in the tops of your feet, maybe in your ankles. But you're gonna keep your hands at center, try to elongate your core and your torso. So if you're rounded, try to come up. And we have three breaths here. Inhale in. Exhale, let your breath fall through your mouth. Inhale in. Exhale, let your breath fall. Final breath, inhale in. Exhale, release. Good. You guys can grab some water if you need to. Uh, maybe wipe down if you're sweaty, but we're gonna meet in the next position um, in a standing position. So if you wanna grab some water, maybe stretch out your back or your hips. Um, if you need to take another breath in meditation of, of just standing, do what you need to do, but we're gonna meet back in our standing position. So, you're still getting there, that's okay. That was a lot of glute and hamstring work on the floor mixed with some core activation. And hopefully you guys felt those, those pieces of your body connecting and really starting to work. We're gonna take it to the floor now and you're gonna work the same muscle groups, the hamstrings, the glutes, the core, except now we're gonna do it from a standing position um, and more of a hinge position. So we're gonna open up with a stretch to get into the strength, the next strengthening position and then we'll work into um, what that looks like. So ground your feet into the floor, slight bend of the knees. So knees are pushed out, hips are back. I'm gonna keep my hands across my chest. I'm gonna take a big inhale here. So I'm just hovering. And on the exhale, I'm gonna bow forward. Notice my hamstrings, my legs are not locked out. They're still really engaged. And I'm keeping my back in a good position. I'm keeping my neck nice and neutral. So I'm not tucking my belly, I'm not arching up. I'm neutral back, neutral spine, neutral neck. Inhale, come up. Squeeze the butt, squeeze the legs at the top. Exhale, bend the knees. Bow forward. This part of your leg should be screaming that hamstring, that glute. Inhale, come up. Exhale, bend the knees, chest goes down, bow forward. Final one, inhale up. Squeeze the butt, squeeze the glutes. Exhale, back down. Good, we're gonna take a breath and hold here. Inhale in, exhale, hold. See if you can just create space here in your hamstrings. Inhale in, exhale through the mouth, stand. Good. That is a good morning stretch. We're gonna translate that into a deadlift prep today. So we're not gonna be picking anything up off the floor today. If you've done deadlifts before, um, this might feel a little bit natural to you if you've never done it before. This is something that everybody um, can get comfortable working into. So meet me wherever you're at, um, whatever level that is for you today. But we're gonna take that good morning into the beginning of what a, a deadlift will look like. So I'm gonna stay from the side position for right now so you can see me. But I'm gonna now just let my hands go out in front of me. I'm gonna push my hips back again so that your weight is more distributed in your heels and your feet than it is your toes. And then I'm gonna push my chest down as my hamstrings stay engaged. My feet are about hip distance apart, just like we did that good morning. And then I'm gonna reach towards the floor, keeping my neck nice and neutral, back is nice and tight, I'm not rounding right, back and neck are nice and tight. I'm gonna tap the floor with my fingertips and I'm gonna squeeze my butt and drive. So we're gonna go through four more like that. And we're gonna keep it a little bit slower um, just to get comfortable with the movement. So adjust your body. Inhale, hips go back. Wiggle your toes. Exhale, just hold. Inhale, push your hips towards the wall behind you. Hands are reaching out in front of you. Neck is nice and neutral. Exhale, tap the floor. Inhale, come up. Exhale, let it go. 
squeeze the butt at the top. So if you want to see it a little bit faster, I'm just going to demo one. My hips are back. I'm inhaling, touching, exhaling, driving. I'm keeping my back nice and tight and then driving. You should not be looking sideways. You guys should be looking uh, neutral. Find something ahead of you at about a 45 degree angle to look at. We have four more. Let's go through these together. If you don't feel comfortable tapping the floor, a good guidance is to stop at that good morning position. So maybe that's just here today, and then you just drive. The goal is to feel your hamstrings, not your back. Four more reps, slight bend in the knees, wiggle your toes, arms are out in front of you. Inhale down, exhale up. Good, three more, exhale. At the top, you need to inhale down, exhale up. Keeping that back tight, slight bend in the knees. We have two more. Inhale down, exhale up. Final one. Inhale down, exhale up. Good. Hopefully, you started to feel that engagement. All of the stuff we've been doing so far should have fired the hamstrings and the glutes. We're going to connect that now to the floor. Find a spot on the floor. If you need some. Thing, um, under your knees, you can get something under your knees. We're going to get into a tabletop position. So the reason I stay under my knees is just for um, support. If you're on like a wood floor, it might feel better. If you have a yoga mat. Good. From here, our knees should be about hip distance apart. And then if you're pushing back, I want you to get into a tabletop position. I'm going to in my shirt so you guys can see. Um, and then from here, we're just gonna start our breath work. So inhale, tuck the belly in, reach up towards the sky, exhale, untuck the toes, look up. Inhale, tuck the belly, untuck the toes, reaching in, Exhale, move your shoulders. Neck goes nice and tall towards the sky. Look up. One more here. Inhale in. Pull the back up, reaching towards the sky. Exhale. Release. Good. Just some prep work before we get into our core. Now that we're in our tabletop position, that should have been a good body check for you to make sure that you are connected. We're going to inhale the right arm up, and then we're going to exhale the left leg up. Good. Inhale here. Just hold. Exhale. See if you can reach a little bit further. When I say reach, I mean reaching my right fingertips forward, my left leg back. One more breath. Inhale in. Exhale. Down. Good. In this position, you don't want to shift your hips one way or the other. Try to stay as neutral as you can. Inhale the left arm up. Exhale the right leg up. Good. Inhale, reach. Exhale, hold. Inhale, reach a little bit more. Exhale, back down. We're going to connect that now to a crunch. So back to the right side. Inhale the right arm up. Exhale the left leg up. Inhale, crunch in to meet my right elbow to my left knee. Exhale, hold. Inhale, reach. Exhale, crunch in. Inhale, reach. Exhale, crunch in. One more, guys, stay with me. Inhale, reach. Exhale, crunch in. Good, release back to center. We are going to the left side. We'll take a rest in a second, so if you can hang on, let's get through this next side together. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, reach the back right leg up. Good, one breath here. Inhale in. Exhale, reach a little further. Inhale, crunch in. Exhale, release. Inhale, crunch in. Exhale, release. Final one. Inhale, crunch in. Exhale, release. And back down. 
Sit back into child's pose if you need to. Center your breath. Walk your fingertips forward as you drive your head through the window. Take three breaths however you want in this child's pose position. And after that third breath, no rush at all, meet me back in a tabletop position. You're gonna untuck your toes, lift your hips, walk your hands towards your feet, and then slowly using your guided breath, vertebrae by vertebrae, come up to standing. <clears throat> so we are gonna go back to that same deadlift format, except now we're gonna work on that single leg modality. So now understanding what your body's supposed to be doing, I'm just gonna move this. You can either stay where we were at and keep that same deadlift tempo of going down and then driving up, or if you want to, I'm gonna offer you to take one leg off of the floor. So what that would look like is grounding my left foot. I'm gonna drive my right leg back, slight bend in the knee. We're not gonna touch the floor with this because we're just playing around with some balance and this is new for a lot of people, but what this would look like is Either hands cross or out in front of me. I'm just going to inhale, reach down a little bit. And then I'm going to exhale, stand. <sighs> Return my foot to center. So big things to note here, because it's a little bit of a challenging balancing pose, and it's also um, hard on your hip flexors, right, your, your quad, it's important to make sure you're in a good position before we even attempt to do that. So a good test is to put your foot behind you for support. You can also leave it here. And then see if as you bend, you can support your weight. If you don't think you can, again, this position is always a great option to stay neutral, inhaling and exhaling through that deadlift here. But if you feel like you want to take the option of single leg, um, we're going to go through that together. If you're staying neutral, you're going to go for six total deadlifts. Again, a refresher is keeping the feet nice and neutral. Hips go back, back is nice and tight, neck is neutral. Once I hit my hamstring spot, slight bend in the knee, I drive up. Using the inhale down, exhale up. If you're going to the single leg, it's the same breath work. We're gonna start with our left leg grounded. So maybe you can actually see me better here. I'm gonna ground my foot. Think about pushing my knee out as I go down, slight bend in the knee. I'm going to cross my arms or keep them out in front of me. I'm going to inhale down, exhale up, return the foot to center. Good. If you want to make it more challenging, keep your foot elevated the entire time, but we're never getting past the point of being able to control our spine and our core. So again, leg goes behind us. That was one. We have three more. Inhale down, exhale back up. Good, if you want to keep that foot off the floor the entire time, now is the time to do it. We have two more, inhale down. Exhale up. Inhale down. Exhale up. Return the foot. Beautiful, shake it out. You should have felt that in your hamstrings, in your glutes. If your balance gets tested a little bit, it's okay. Keeping your gaze nice and neutral. I'm looking at the screen, but you want to be looking about 45 degrees ahead of you. So keep that gaze nice and neutral. Right foot stays tied into the floor. Glue it. Think about it being concrete. Um, like your, your foot is cemented into the floor. That's how tight you want to be grounded. Take a breath here. Exhale it out. Start to lift that left, left leg. Just play around with your balance. Slight bend in the right knee, so we start to prep. Chest is in a good position. Our hands are either crossed or out in front of us. We're gonna inhale down. Exhale, drive up. Place the foot if you need to. That's one. Leg goes back, slight bend in the knee. Inhale down. Exhale, drive up. 
Good. What I also don't want is when you're here, I don't want you to like rush back, right? Try to think about keeping your gaze neutral so you're controlling your breath. You're also controlling your balance. We have two more. Left leg goes back up. Right knee is pushing out towards that wall. It's not keeping in. Inhale down. Exhale back up. Good. Final one. Inhale down. Exhale up. Return your left foot. Just to even out the hips, we're going to go for one good morning together. So hands stay crossed. Inhale, bend the knees. Exhale, bow forward. Get a big breath here. Inhale. Exhale it out. Inhale, come up. Exhale, let it go. Good. We're almost towards the end. We have one more core exercise together. And then we'll get into some stretching. Let's go ahead and get back into our tabletop. Again, I... For me, it's, it's helpful to put something under my knees, so if that's the case for you as well, get centered. And then we're in our tabletop position. We're not stacking our body over our wrists. We're nice and neutral. <clears throat> Feet should be uh, about hip distance. Knees should be about hip distance. We're going to inhale the right arm up. Exhale the left leg up. Good. Now we're going to add a tempo to our breath. So we're going to hold that crunch for an extra breath. Inhale in. Exhale, hold. Inhale here. Exhale, hold. Inhale, reach. Exhale, replace back down. Good. Same thing on the other side. Inhale, reach the left arm up. Exhale, reach the left, the right leg up. Sorry, guys. Inhale, crunch in. Exhale, hold. Inhale in. Exhale, hold. Inhale in. Exhale, release. Inhale. Exhale, back down. Good. We have two more on each side, keeping that same tempo. So, I'm just going to widen this out for me. Inhale, the right arm up. Exhale, the left leg up. Inhale, crunch in. Exhale, hold. Inhale, stay. Exhale, stay. Inhale, reach. Exhale, back down. Good. Same thing on the other side. Keep this pace. Inhale, left arm up. Exhale, right leg up. Inhale, crunch in. Exhale, hold. Inhale, stay crunched. Exhale, hold. Inhale, reach up and back. Exhale, replace. Final one on each side. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, lift the left, left leg back. Inhale, crunch in. Exhale, hold. Inhale, stay. Exhale, stay. Inhale, in. Exhale, reach. Inhale here. Exhale back down. Good. Final one on the side, and we'll take a break, guys. Inhale, left arm up. Exhale, right leg up. Inhale, crunch in. Exhale, hold. Inhale in. Exhale, stay. Inhale in. Exhale, stay. Inhale, reach. Exhale, replace back down. Good. If you need to take a second in child's pose, find that position. If you would rather take a second in seated pose, If you are in child's pose, start to slowly return back to tabletop and then work your way into a seated position, however you feel comfortable doing that. Maybe it's going for a full breath overhead.
Palms are gonna be open on your knees. Should be a little sweaty at this point. We have one more strengthening exercise to do before we completely come back down. But before we get into that, let's just take two breaths, centering. Notice if one feels side feels tight than the other. Let's inhale, get nice and long and tall. And then exhale, actually let your body just fall a little bit. Good, notice what that feels like, right? That, that posture loosening and just letting it go. We wanna avoid that, right? We wanna stay in that engaged position. So let's inhale back into that. And then we're exhale, gonna hold. Good, try to bring your attention to the final piece of class. We're almost there. This will be the most intense part of the class, but then we're done. Inhale in. Exhale, let it go. Good. Inhale, rock to a tabletop position. And then exhale, lift your hips to downward dog. Inhale, walk back. Exhale, take a full breath all the way up. Return back to center at your own pace. If you're a little slower than me, it's okay. Shake it out. So for the final part of the class, we're just gonna go through a little bit of an interval piece where we pair two things together. If you need to slow it down at any point or if you wanna take a uh, modification, feel free, but we're just gonna end with one set. It's gonna be 10 lunges, five burpees. It's one set through. You can make this as intense as you want. You can also slow it down, but we're gonna keep the lunges together at my tempo if you can. For the lunge today, what I'm looking for, feet are gonna be hip distance. I'm gonna take a stance where I'm like in a power position. My hands are on my hips. I'm going to push my right foot out in front of me, drop my left knee down, and then I'm gonna exhale back up to standing. So we're not gonna sit in that position. I was just demoing a little bit faster. I'm gonna inhale, reach out, exhale, drive up. If you can't go all the way lower, uh, to the floor, that's okay, go where you can, but the idea is to tap your knee and drive up. And if you have to slow down again at any point, just don't go with my tempo, but if you can, try to stick with me. We're gonna inhale down, tap the knee, exhale, drive up. 10 reps and then five burpees, which I'll go over. So inhale, reach down, exhale up. Drive the front knee out towards the wall, inhale down. Exhale up, good, inhale down, exhale up. That's three guys, inhale down, exhale up. Notice that vertical torso that we just practiced in meditation, inhale down, exhale up. That's five, inhale down, exhale up. As we are going through this fast, are you losing integrity right through your positioning? Try to stick with it. This is six, inhale down. Exhale up. This is seven, inhale down. Exhale up. Eight, two more guys, inhale down. Exhale up. Final one, inhale down. Exhale up. Good, shake it out. I'm gonna demo the burpee then we're gonna get through it together. I'm starting in a standing position. I'm going to push my hands into the floor like I'm prepping to get into a plank. And then I'm gonna kick my feet back out behind me to that plank position. Then I'm gonna kick my feet back into me. So I'm starting overhead, hands go down to brace my body, feet kick out, feet kick in, stand. Okay, that's one. So again, hands go down, feet go out, feet come back in, stand. That would be two. We have five together. You can use your breath however you feel fit during this. It's our final exercise. We have five together. Let's get started. Hands overhead. Hands go down. Exhale your feet back out. Push back in. Stand. That's one. Inhale down. Exhale out. Inhale in. Exhale up. Let's two. We have three more. Inhale down. Exhale out. Inhale in, exhale up. That's three, two more guys. Inhale down, exhale out. Inhale in, exhale up. 
four, last one, inhale down, exhale out, inhale in, exhale up. Good. Hands return to center. If you feel like you're breathing heavy, like, right, let's try to ground that. Close your eyes. Feel that your hands fall. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and palms are open. <sighs> Notice what your body feels like now versus what it felt like in the beginning of class. Notice what your breath feels like. If you're still breathing heavy, let's try to connect that to controlling the heart. So let's get a big inhale in. Exhale through the mouth. Inhale in through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Good, slowly open your eyes. We're gonna take a final um, couple stretches just to loosen up everything that we did for the class. You're gonna take that lunge step out that we just did. So right, that's gonna go out. You're gonna drop your back knee. You're gonna take a big inhale up. Exhale, frame your right foot or your left, whatever's in front of you. And then exhale, drive up and back. So I'm stretching that hamstring. My nose is trying to drive towards my knee. Let's get one more breath here. Inhale in. Exhale back down. Good. Inhale, reach up again. Exhale back down. Inhale, drive the nose towards the knee. Exhale, hold. Inhale back down. Exhale, push your right foot to tabletop to meet the left. Good, you're going to inhale, drive to downward dog. So untuck the toes, lift the hips. Exhale, push your left leg in front of you. Inhale, back down, the right knee. Exhale, reach up nice and tall. Good, inhale down, frame the foot. Exhale, reach up. That hamstring stretch. We're gonna get a breath here. Inhale the nose towards the knee. Pressing up and back. Exhale, hold. Inhale here. Exhale, drop the back knee. Good, come up to center. Big inhale up. One more here. Inhale down. Exhale, lift. If you created more space, Final breath here, inhale in, try to get the nose towards the knee. Exhale, hold. Inhale in. Exhale, drop the back knee. Return the foot to tabletop. And we're just gonna end with a child's pose. So pushing the hips back, keep the toes touching. Let's get Three final breaths here. Walk the hands out. Sit in child's pose, driving your head towards the mat. Think about just walking your fingertips forward. Acknowledge what you did for your body today. What intention can you set for the day now? What can you take with you? Is it breath work? Is it presencing? Is it allowing? allowing you to bring yourself back to the present when you feel that heartbeat getting high, allowing your body to get worked up at times, but knowing how to come back. What can you do to just recenter? And then on the next inhale, walk your hands towards your knees. And let's meet back in that seated position. Final minute of class. <clears throat> I like to end in the seated position because I think it's a really good way to bring the body back.
down, grounding through the floor. Our glutes are connected. Everything is nice and tight. Let's go ahead and get a big inhale here. Exhale through the mouth. One more breath, inhale in. Exhale, any thoughts, stress, body aches that came in throughout the class. And then on the final breath, let's set the intention. So inhale your intention in for the day. And then exhale, allow yourself to bring that throughout your day. Good work today, guys. Awesome job. <clears throat> I hope to see you on Friday for my next class. And I hope you guys have a great day.